So now that we have Angular running on Meteor, we can start creating our Angular Meteor app. So first, let's just try to place this regular list inside our code. We we'll just copy paste it here, and the server should refresh by itself, and then we can look and see the list here. But this is just a static list. So what we need, we actually need to do is to use Angular to make our templates dynamic and not just simple static. So first we need to create our controller. Let's start with creating our controller. Let's go here. And what we're going to do is to create our Angular model and add a controller into it. We're going to name our controller parties list controller and then we're going to define our controller so first let's define our dependencies so we need to get scope into it and then create the controller itself and now this is our controller so the next thing we want to do is to create our parties var scope variable so I'm gonna create scope parties and let's just let's just copy paste its content from the tutorial. So let's go here, copy this, and we have scope parties. Now we need to create our template and associate it to um, to our controller. So let's go to index.html. Let's surround our template with a controller and you controller and let's just copy the name of our controller and place it here and now we associated everything that happens inside this div into our controller this is the scope of our controller and now we want to duplicate this li for each part. So to do that we're going to use the ng repeat directive, AngularJS directive, and we're going to say for each party in parties do this li. And then inside we can just place the parties name and the parties description. Now let's refresh and see how it looks like. Great, so we have our templates dynamically loading, but still, you know what's happening is here is just we have only Angular, we don't have any relation to Meteor. So the next thing we're going to do is to go to the next step and three way data binding that to our, uh, to our Meteor. Collection. So first we need to actually create our Meteor collection. The Meteor collection lives everywhere. Uh, so we're going to create it outside of the Meteor is client. And this means that it will be available also on the server and also on the client. And Meteor, Meteor will take care of us, take care of syncing those two together. So let's call it parties, and this is actually a new Mongo collection. In Mongo, the it looks like that. And now we need to bind it. So we have a Mongo collection. Now we need to bind it into our scope parties. So to do that, we're going to use our Meteor collection. So let's add that. Dollar meteor let's add it here now meteor dot collection and we're gonna bind it into our collection and that's it now our parties are auto binded into those parties and every time those parties will change it will automatically sync 
and save this data into Meteor and the other way around. Every time the Meteor collection will change, those folders will, will change as well. So that's nice, but now we need to actually create our parties in our server code. So let's just copy this code here. into our file. So here we're actually checking if this is the server. Later on we will show how to do it with folders and not just with if statements. And then when Meteor start up, if our parties collection has less than has zero collection, which means it's empty, just create three parties and add them into our parties collection. And because it happened on the server, it will be synced back here on the client and then will be synced here to our parties. So now our server is refreshing. And once it's refreshed, we should see those three parties available for us here. And they are. Let's now, that's nice, but let's maybe to prove it, let's open our console and change uh, and, and directly from the console add parties to our database and see if it syncs here. So and now uh, let's write Meteor Mongo. And now that we're inside the Mongo, let's just write db.parties.find just let's find all and we have a list of all the parties now let's insert a new party so let's do the same just db.parties.insert and let's create a new object so object has a name let's call it a party from db and it has a description this party now let's add this party and let's look here and it's added here now let's do the same just remove so let's do media parties remove by id so let's do media parties remove and here we create an object with id and copy and let's say the dubstep party id let's remove yeah let's surround it with string Let's see what happened here. Ah, the dubstep free zone, yes. Dubstep free zone removed. I was confused with the dubstep of the time. And it was removed instantly and everything syncs together. So this is how you bind your data from either into Angular and back.